Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how you can make your car's paint last twice as long. Now the first thing that you have to understand about automotive paint is most modern vehicles use a four stage process when the cars are painted. You got the bare metal and then that's actually has a pre-treatment coating in most places which is one of the reasons that modern cars don't rust like they used to when I was a kid in Niagara Falls. Hey cars would be six seven years old the fenders were rusting off they were just falling apart because they didn't have any of that pre-treatment stuff. Then the actual process of what you might call painting because it's not all exactly painting is they have an electric coat and that's to keep things from corroding. Normally it's zinc based and that keeps electrolysis out and keeps the bare metal from having problems with corrosion, rust, so they don't come apart from oxidation. Now this first coating is measured in microns and a micron is one thousandth of a millimeter. This electron coating is 17 to 22 microns thick so that's not very thick really. Then the next coat on top of that is the primer paint. Then on top of that is the base coat the color that you actually see. Strangely enough that's the thinnest coat that's 10 to 20 microns. Then on top of that is the clear coat that's 30 to 50 microns that's the thickest one it's kind of like clear fingernail polish that coats it all and that's what really makes it shiny and what you want to preserve on your car's paint is that clear coat because that's what protects the paint underneath. UV rays of the sun are attacking that clear coat. Birds pooping on your car attacks it. Dirt and grime attacks it. So what you want to do is make that clear coat last as long as it possibly can. So the first thing you want to do if birds poop on your car or you get tire from the road that gets on the side of your paint you want to get rid of the stuff immediately. I've been using this gooby gone automotive stuff for decades. It's really great for taking crud out. You leave it in a trunk with some blue paper towels then you can spray it on and get it off before it does damage. Especially bird poop. That stuff is acidic. If you let it dry sit in the sun it eats right through your paint. And like I said the scooby gone works great. This is the automotive one that's more gel. It's thicker so when you spray it on it sits there. Now like any kind of product that cleans stuff you don't want to do it in the direct sun you want to do it in the shade on a vehicle that's not red hot. You just want to make sure you do it before the car sits all day in the red hot sun and it bakes in. That's why you put it in the trunk. Then you don't have to worry about hey where am I going to find this stuff. You got it. You can take the crud off your paint and then not worry about it. Now the next thing to make your paint last as long as possible is to wax your car. It's a good idea to do it four times a year, once every season. So if you can remember to do it in the beginning of the season, hey, that's easier. Because, you know, the beginning of winter is not as cold as the middle or later winter. So if you do it in the beginning of each season, then you won't forget. Now I have to admit that I'm a bad boy. I don't wax my cars anymore. I use this new finish because technically it's not a wax, it's a polish. I find that this polish works better than a wax, seems to last longer. Now it says once a year, but nonsense on that. I still do it four times a year. You know, a good paint job costs a fortune. This costs hardly anything. So, you know, a little elbow grease, it'll make your paint last longer. Because to keep your clear coat shiny, which is what makes your paint look good, nothing works better than a really good polish like that. It's not really abrasive where it ruins the paint, it just keeps it nice and shiny and protects it. Now here's something that I'll warn you against wasting your money on. This is one of these nano paint protectors. Really it's a bunch of nano nonsense. This one's using the idea of nanotechnology and ceramics together. It says it's a nano ceramic. I tried this stuff out. This little bottle is like 50 bucks. It's just garbage and I've also read about people who use this and they said that it ruined their paint job. Well, stay away from all this marketing nonsense that some people have. I've seen some German manufactured products that say oh they keep your car shining and stuff and the system will be like three four hundred dollars. It's nonsense. They're just selling you this really expensive stuff because they figure you got an expensive European car and you're dumb enough you bought that expensive thing you buy really expensive wax for your expensive car. So don't waste your money on that. This stuff works perfectly fine. And of course, if you want regular wax, get a good carnauba based wax and wax it 
four times a year. Take care of it. You know, I just happen to like this stuff because I've tried over 51 years, lots of different stuff, and I found this seems to be the best one. It goes on easy, it wipes off easy, and it seems to last longer than most of the other ones do. This is my wife's 17 year old Lexus. Look at that baby shine. You can see the reflection of the tree behind it. 17 years old and this stuff keeps it going. Now the next way to keep your car's paint lasting as long as possible is to realize that really bad dust and dirt is abrasive. You don't want to just get a cloth or something and wipe the stuff off. I had a customer here in Houston years ago that learned a lesson the hard way. There was a Mexican volcano south of here that erupted and we got all this volcanic ash. Well he went and got some towels and stuff they were microfiber towels and he wiped the dust off and what he was doing was he scratched his paint now that's an extreme example but the dirt and crud in our modern society is all over the place so when you do have a dirty car the first thing you want to do is hose it off you want to rinse it off with water first so that the water can just blow all that stuff off. Then once it's gotten reasonably hydrated, you can get some good soap to clean the car with. Now when I was a kid, we were cheap. We didn't have any money. So I'd use dishwashing liquid to wash the car. But really, you want to use car wash liquid that's made for cars. It's designed not to damage that clear coat. I've been using this McGuire stuff for years. It's a really good cleaner. I mean, there's tons of them out there, but it's sort of like anything else. You get something that seems to work pretty good, eh, you tend to stick with it. Do keep it clean if you want that paint to last. And I have to admit, I'm cheating with my wife's car because I park it under this tree all the time. Sun destroys paint whenever possible. If you can park your car in the shade, a good thing. Then the ultraviolet rays of the sun can't destroy the paint. Sure, putting a car in a garage is great, but if you don't have a garage to put it into, as long as it's in the shade, that's going to keep the paint from being destroyed. Because you really want to take care of your original paint job. As you saw earlier, there's four layers when a car is painted at the factory. It's done by machines. They do a nearly perfect job. If you've ever had a car repainted, they never last as long. They never look as shiny. Because odds are no place is going to go through those four stages and get it exactly the same thickness as a robot will. So now you know how to make your car's paint last as long as it can. So you can ride around in a nice shiny car and not be embarrassed by one that maybe has the clear coat peeling off like it's got a bad case of sunburn. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.